Okay, now let's move on to drawing portraits. We're going to start drawing the sketch and after that color it with colored pencils. And before we start the sketch, I want you to have a look at the reference photo and really observe the reference photo. So what I do when I choose a reference photo and I pick out one that I'm going to draw, I really observe the photo. So I look at all of the proportions I see, I look for lines, I compare lines, I... Um, so you see from the head the eye is usually in the middle and then this baby is looking a bit to the left so you will see that this eye you will see more of this eye in comparison to this eye the nose will be a bit at an angle the mouth will be a bit at an angle so we will see more of if you look at the middle of the mouth you will see more of this side in comparison to that side so i look for lines and see how the facial features are placed and everything that's the first thing I do. And then I look at the values. So where is the light coming from? How is the light falling on the face? So, you, so I look for the highlights in the face. And then I look at, so these are the highlights. Then I look at where I see the shadows or the darker parts. So here you see that it's darker. Here you see on this, the right side of the nose are darker areas. So that's how I observe everything before I start. So let's, I always start with a middle line and then with the horizontal line. So the middle vertical line. And you see that the middle line would be like this. And what I always say is imagine wrapping a rubber band around someone's head. So then you will if you would um, imagine that, then you will see that it goes here to the back. It will be uh, on the back of the head and then here and then on the middle of the lips. So it will go in between the eyes, in between the nose, uh, the two nose wings and then the middle of the lips. So that would be the middle line, but I like to draw it straight because that's easier to draw the guidelines. So let's draw one um, vertical line and then you see that it's closer to this eye than this eye. So that's where I'm drawing the vertical guideline and now for the horizontal guidelines can start with and then let's duplicate this line and then for the chin line so the, the height of these two guidelines, then usually you have the same for the brow line, the same measurement. One for the hairline. So around here you see the hairline, the brow line, the nose and the chin. And now another line for the eye, the eye line, the eyes. Let's see, I'm going to put it on the corner of the eyes. Okay, so now we have the eyes and then you can see that here this corner is on the guideline, this corner is on the guideline and then this corner is a bit higher. So you see that the eye shape is like this and not straight. So pay attention to that when you're going to draw the sketch. And then the lips are usually on one third of the nose line and the chin line. So if you take like one third, two and then three, so you see that it's on this line, it usually is. And in this case, it also is. So you can draw a, a guideline here as well if you need to or you can just measure that if you don't want to draw too many lines so you can draw as many guidelines as you need 
or you can measure just from the these main guidelines. I usually like to draw one extra for the eyes because the eyes can be the most difficult to sketch and I also think those are the most important so I usually like to draw one extra one for the eyes. You see that the air is on the eye line so you can measure that one from the brow guideline. If you take a line down from the corner of the eye you see that it's on the corner of the mouth and here um, from the eye corner you see it's on this corner and then the nose is on the line of the iris so that's how I look for lines and compare it for when I'm going to draw the sketch I will need to have that the same you will also have need to have that the same if you want to have an accurate sketch because what will create the likeness in your drawing um, will be the correct having the correct proportions those are really important so try to pay attention to every detail so first I'm going to start with the eyes like always I'm going a bit to the left for the corner remember you can just going to use the ruler you can eyeball it first and then that was almost right so around here And that's the first corner and then about one so I'm taking the same space and one two more than two is the other corner so I think around here and let's just measure that and that's exactly right so here is the corner goes up and then we need to see how how high so if you take half of this guideline that's almost where you see the the upper eyelid the, the, then you see the crease line so I think it's around here and then for this corner let's see if you take so I always keep on comparing that's that will also help you when you're going to critique your sketch you will need to um, look for lines and com comparisons so what I mean is I compare the width of the eye to the guideline and the width of the corner I think it's around the same width so I check and compare like that and then this guideline if you take the space from the corner from the guideline you go one two it's almost two so that's how I like uh, I like to measure it I measure it in my head and then of course I double check to see if I'm correct so I really take my time when I'm drawing the eyes I double check everything I think it's the most important part of the drawing. I really want to get that right because that will you will get the same likeness if you have everything correct. And look at the shape. You see that it's not as wide as this eye. It's really smaller. So it can look a bit um, tricky because of the angle and because of the eyes that are aren't straight forward forward so that's why it's important to du double check and just measure as much as you need to it's okay you're learning from that as well and then once you have the sketch <laughs> it can look funny like this if you look look at it but once you have the sketch you will need to double check again and compare so the the head can look big but babies usually have a big head and then smaller facial features so really um, if if you double checked and you did the measuring then it should be correct um, corner down I see this part 
you see the nostril and then a bit of the shadow. So if you take, so from the guideline to the nostril and then up, that's around where I see that the shadow starts, then it goes down in a corner, uh, in a curve. You could take about one third, that's where you see the inside of the mouth. And then half of that is where you see this, the upper lip, and then the lower lip around half of the guideline so I think it should be around here and then you see the chin and the chin is on the line of the, this nostril here a bit more to the right and let's you see that it's far farther than the further than the nose around the same line as the corner but just a bit further so I think around here so here it goes all the way let's see how high it goes we're on the same line as so I think it's here with the air you don't have to be very accurate Draw the earlobe. See if you have this line. It's a bit around here. So then you can draw the neck. And then if you go from this corner down, that's where I see this shoulder. Okay, so this goes up, um, let's see, this also goes a bit higher, I think around here, let's measure that from, let's measure the middle parts. Yeah, even a bit higher. And here you see those hairs. Okay, now let's have a look at the eyes. This eye looks a bit too pointy, maybe not round enough. And it's also important if you step away, then you look at your drawing as a whole, and then you can... So I noticed that the shape of the eyes weren't correct yet, so now I'm just having another look. So that's this corner. Okay, so this should be more to the left, a lot more the iris here. And then here this crease line also goes further. Let's see, first you have the lash line and then the crease line. So now it looks rounder, the eye. I'm looking at the shape of the iris because that looks uh, didn't look correct. It's a bit higher this this wrinkle under the eye. Okay, I think this eye looks better now. Um, if I look at this highest corner of the crease line. It's a bit more to the left of the pupil, and I have it on the line, on the same line as the pupil. So it's here. It's a bit more to the left. So this is the crease line, then you see the lash line, the middle here, and then it, it's, um, it connects with the, here, the upper eyelid. And then here, goes lower, here it goes higher, here you see less hair but there's a lot of shadow. Okay, so now we have the hairline as well. We can start to erase the guidelines and I like to use the kneaded eraser for this. 
I hope your guidelines were light enough so you can erase them. Your sketch lines will also need to be light, like I always say. So drawing the sketch yourself can seem a bit uh, overwhelming in the beginning. Or maybe you're too nervous because you don't want to get the sketch or you don't want to ruin anything by drawing the wrong sketch. But if you go step by step and keep on checking and comparing with the lines you see, so you see that the nose needs to be on the same line of the iris. This nose uh, isn't, it's a bit more to the left of the corner. And then the same for the mouth, same for the ear. So measure everything and check everything, compare everything. Keep on looking back at the reference photo. The more often you practice this, the more often or the, the better you will get at it. So if you think, oh, I suck, I can't draw a sketch myself, just go step by step, follow along with me, and I'm sure you can do it too. And in the first, in the beginning, your sketch might not be as accurate as it needs to be, but the more often you draw the sketch yourself, you will become better and better and more accurate. And you will also be able to look at your sketch and see if something is wrong. So it is really true. Practice, practice. It will make you better and better. It will help you improve. So you will need to draw the sketch yourself and you will need to just go for it. And you will need to make mistakes to learn from it.